Intake Manifold explained the intake manifold's main job is to evenly distribute the intake charge among all of the engine cylinders. The carburetor, throttling body is connected to the cylinder head by the intake manifold. It's crucial that you frequently change the air filter since it prevents dirt and other foreign objects from getting inside and harming the engine. Some automobiles employ plastic inlet manifolds, but most are built of cast iron or aluminum. The engine itself may also idle unevenly or stall. So, let's learn about the intake manifold. Air is injected into the engine through the intake manifold. It attaches to the engine cylinders and equally distributes air to each one. The air from the manifold is drawn into the cylinders when the intake valves of the engine open, creating a vacuum in the process. The manifold's design is crucial since it aids in optimizing the engine's performance by modifying the channel's size and shape to increase airflow. By changing a valve, the throttle body, which is attached to the manifold, regulates how much air enters the engine. To stop any air leaks, the manifold is sealed to the cylinder head of the engine. In order to ensure that the engine receives the necessary amount of air for effective combustion and proper engine operation, the intake manifold is crucial. Car idle rough as you may already be aware, an unhealthy or fractured intake manifold will result in an unhealthy air fuel mixture. Your idle becoming harsh can potentially be a result of a poor air fuel combination. Because it must function flawlessly to maintain a constant RPM, the engine is vulnerable to issues at idle. Because of this, an intake manifold issue will probably be apparent at idling. Illuminated check engine light while you are driving, the engine control unit continuously monitors the sensors in your car. If any of them sends values that are different from the preset values, the check engine light will come on in your dashboard. The air fuel combination will not be as it should be if your intake manifold is damaged, which may cause the check engine light to come on in your dashboard. To continue troubleshooting after the check engine light appears, you must read the fault code that is stored in the engine control unit. Engine performance loss the fuel and air ratio is impacted when the intake manifold fails. The air fuel combination is crucial for effective combustion, thus any change to this mixture can have an impact on how much fuel your automobile uses. You'll observe that it will consume more fuel, requiring more frequent fuel tank refills. Additionally, you will sense that your automobile is not accelerating smoothly and that the engine might be having trouble. When this occurs, you should look for any leaks in the intake manifold. Leaks of external coolant coolant may begin to seep into the engine compartment if the intake manifold has an internal break or an issue close to the intake manifold gasket. It's time to look for any indications of leaks near the intake manifold if your automobile has a pool of coolant underneath it after spending the night in the garage. The leak frequently originates under the intake manifold, which can be particularly challenging to find. The intake manifold will let in more air than fuel when it has a crack or a coolant leak, which causes the combustion chamber to burn more air than fuel. Misfires will come from this because they occur when the combustion process is interrupted and is not fully completed. This may also occur as a result of coolant water entering the cylinder through an intake manifold internal crack or an area near the intake manifold gasket. The engine control module frequently has a fault code that is related to misfires. Overheated engine, the engine overheats as a result of the coolant leak if the intake manifold cracks and allows coolant to spill out into the combustion chamber or engine bay. When the temperature gauge on your dashboard starts to increase while you are driving, you will notice this. It is best to take your car to the technician as soon as this happens because an overheated engine can seize up and cease functioning entirely. Checking the coolant level in the engine bay on a regular basis is the easiest approach to spot this. It's time to look for coolant leaks if you see that it has started to gradually drop. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching see you in the next one.